All right, in this video, we're going to see how non-programmers can make the most of the ChatGPT code interpreter. We're going to see different use cases that anybody can use to make the most of the ChatGPT code interpreter. And to start with this video, we're going to do something called OCR that stands for Optical Character Recognition. And this is a technology that recognizes text within a digital image. This means that we can extract any text that we have in a PNG file or in a JPEG. So the first thing that I'm going to do is click on this plus button to upload a file. And a simple application of this is using it with a invoice because we have a lot of text here. So here I have an invoice that I downloaded from Google and now I'm going to upload it here to ChatGPT. So now I'm going to wait until the file is uploaded and what I'm going to do is uh, paste the following prompt. And here's the prompt, OCR an image for me and generate a text file. So with this, we're going to extract the text that is in this PNG file and probably ChatGPT is going to generate a TXT file for us to download. So here I'm going to press enter and now let's wait until ChatGPT does all of this. All right, now we see that the OCR was successful in capturing the details of the invoice and now it's asking me if I want to proceed with generating a text file containing the extracted text. And I'm going to say yes. And with this, we're going to get a link to download this uh, text in a TXT file. So now I'm going to wait until it exports the TXT file and now it's ready. So now I'm going to download the file and I'm going to open this file. So as you can see, I have a TXT file and here we have all the text that is in this PDF or sorry, in this PNG file. So we have the image, the image was uploaded to the ChatGPT code interpreter and then we have the text. So we have invoice, invoice number, billing information and so on. All the information that is here, even the terms and conditions that are in tiny letters are here. And now we can copy and paste the text anywhere we want. All right, so now let's move on with the next use case. And with the next use case, we're going to be able to extract the color from a image that we have. So now I'm going to upload another image. And for this example, I'm going to use this image of this cat and we're going to extract the top, let's say five colors in this image and then to build a palette PNG to download. So here I'm going to open this file and then I'm going to use this prompt, create a script that tracks the top X colors, in this case, five colors from this picture and then make it into a palette PNG to download. So here I'm going to press enter and we're going to wait until ChatGPT finishes this. All right, we can see it's uh, taking the five most frequent colors in, in the image and then it's listing the colors and then it's building this color palette. And now we have uh, here the link to download this file. So here I have the PNG file and we have this palette that PNG. And well, that is what we got using the ChatGPT code interpreter. Now, once we have this image uploaded, we can work with this image as if we were using our phone. For example, we can convert this image color scale to grayscale. For example, if I uh, paste this prompt, I can convert the image color scale to grayscale. So here I'm going to ask this. And as I said before, you can work and edit this image as if you were working with your image editor. For example, also you can resize the image ratio, add a watermark, add text to the image and so on. And now I'm going to resize the image radius. So I'm going to say resize this image to three colon two radio. And now we're going to get this radio for this image. And I know that all of this is possible because you can do this with Python code. And well, I'm just going to wait a couple of seconds. All right, now we have this image cropped and resized in 3, 2, radio. And well, this is the result. And this is great. So now let's continue with one of my favorite prompts. And what this prompt does is turn an image into a video and to work with this we have to upload a panoramic image so here i'm going to show you what i mean by panoramic image 
I have here this image that I created with Midjourney. And I'm gonna share this um, this file with you so you know the dimensions and the radio that you need to use for this prompt to work. So here's the panoramic shoot, and now I'm gonna upload this to ChatGPT. And with this, I'm going to create a video. I'm gonna turn this PNG file into a MP4 file. So I'm gonna turn the image into a video. And here's the prompt that we're going to use. So first, I'm telling ChatGPT that this image is a panoramic shot. Then I'm asking to help me uh, turn this into a video with aspect ratio 3, 2, and with the image filling the entire video. So the sides are cut off. So then I'm saying the video should be centered in the middle of the image and then pan the video smoothly with no sudden jumps. So it should be just smoothly from center to right and then center to left and then end in the center. And uh, use the image IO library to help you. So I'm telling ChatGPT with just the library that it should use. Then save the frames directly to a video file instead of into a list. And then use a frame step of eight pixels. If necessary, crop the edges of the image so that the size of the image is divisible by the frame step. So now this is ready. I'm going to share also with you this prompt so you can copy and paste it. And I'm going to run this and then see the results. All right, this took longer than expected, but it's finally done. So I'm going to download the complete video here and I'm going to open this video so you see the final result. So here I'm going to open this one and this is the final result. It's a seven minute or sorry, a seven second video from the PNG file that we uploaded to ChatGPT. So this, as you can see, goes from left to right. And then for some reason it stopped, which is weird because the other day it created the perfect video for me. And is this video is a 26 second video and it did exactly what I asked for. In this case, I don't know why uh, the code interpreter was trying to save some resources. Maybe something, some things changed from that day that I did the video. But anyway, try it on your own and let me know if it worked as it's supposed to work. Like in this video that you're seeing right now, it's going from left to center, then to right and then to center again and then to the left. And I think, yeah, it ends on the left. So try it on your own and let me know if it works as expected. All right, now to finish this video, let's see the last use case. And this is a very simple use case and it's generating QR codes. And well, here is the prompt. Create a QR code for my website. And this is my website, artificialcorner.com. And if I run this, ChatGPT Code Interpreter is going to generate a QR code for my website. And as you can see, now I have the QR code and I can even download the QR code image clicking this link. And that's it.